A killer without a conscience, that's how federal prosecutors describe the leader of a West Baltimore drug gang. A judge called his crimes the most serious a person can commit during an emotional sentencing this afternoon. WJZ investigator Mike Helgman is live at the federal courthouse downtown with the punishment. Mike. Vic and Denise, it's likely he'll never get out of prison. Convicted killer Montana Baronet, that's his name. He apologized to family members of one of his victims for what they believed he did. His relatives said Baronet is not a monster, but the judge didn't believe he was truly remorseful. Montana Baronet, convicted of murdering six people as part of the vicious West Baltimore drug gang known as Train to Go, will serve two life prison sentences. In a social media post, Baronet once wrote, F you haters, I kill you all if I could. Baltimore police once called him the city's number one trigger puller. The new police commissioner designee told me why he attended the sentencing. It was important for me to see this outcome uh, firsthand so I know just what's at stake and just how to make sure my police department performs at a high level and partners with our partners uh, going forward. Many relatives of victims chose not to speak out of fears for their own safety, but the mother of one victim, Antonio Addison, told the judge Montana Baronet is the devil's child. Nobody can be that evil. To lose your son, she said, is the worst pain you can ever feel. Baronet murdered him on the front steps of his grandmother's home. And our heart goes out to, to all that's lost in this, in this matter. What struck me is that over the past four nights, I've met with hundreds upon hundreds of people who were born and raised and continue to live on the streets of Baltimore who don't make that choice that Mr. Baronet made. Shortly after his initial arrest, Baronet was mistakenly released and went to New York City to watch West Baltimore boxer Javante Davis in a fight. He's been incarcerated since. Baronet's lawyer said his client has had a difficult life dealing drugs since age 13 and is a victim. Murder is such a part of the fabric of this city, he said. We live in a society that permits what goes on in Baltimore to happen. Very happy that justice was done today with life in prison for Mr. Baronet, which guarantees that he will not be able to hurt anyone in Baltimore again. During the trial, which included co defendants, there were reports of witness intimidation, and several U.S. Marshals were assaulted, bringing some of those co defendants here to court. So security was very tight today. They cleared out the courtroom before sentencing, and people could not bring their cell phones inside. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ.